and I may approach the Arts Council or whoever, we really need to tie Warren in with Bisbee. And down at the traffic circle, that big open green space in the center of it, they need to do something with that so that Bisbee doesn't end at the Lavender Pit or at the co-op. Encourage people to go further, to actually come over to Warren. I, I've been thinking about doing that traffic circle for six or seven years. The only thing holding me up... You have to deal up, with the state. The only thing holding me up is how do we keep people from wanting to walk over there and walk through the installation? And they're going to want to. You know, would we make a, a paint a walkway, you know, to where they could actually walk, you know, like the white lines? And then now you got traffic stopping in a traffic circle. That's not going to work. Right. They do not want traffic stopped in that right. circle. So that's going to be the big issue if you do something there. People want to, you know, I've got like, I'm thinking about mazes and, and all of that. They're going to want to go over and be a part of it. Yes. But once I figure out how... That's a I tough get, one. Yeah, how do we get people over the highway safe? Do you have a, do you have in mind what you'd like to do in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Uh -huh. I'd like to do um, a maze out of white stone. Wow. Yeah. Something that uh, it's actually interactive. Yeah, that you can walk through and walk on different surfaces like rocks. Uh, awareness of step. And so they will walk on different rocks and it's sticks and, you know, and that sand. And to Bisbee's artistic greatness. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, they, I think one thing I thought was if they put a, a crosswalk, they could put a sign that says oncoming traffic does not stop. So, yeah, it's dealing with all the... Yeah, it's even got an element of danger to the it. The bureaucrats. Uh -huh. Yeah, but once I, and I can find someone to help me yeah. work with the bureaucrats. Where did you live before uh, Bisbee 12 years ago? Uh, I traveled for about 20 years before that. All around? And I tell people I've been to, you name it, if it's west of the Mississippi River, and there are beautiful little towns out there. A lot of little historic mining towns, Utah, Nevada, Oregon, Washington, you name it, they all got them. Is Bisbee unique? Bisbee is absolutely, I wouldn't be living here if it wasn't. I lived on the road for a long time in my little house truck. And you were perfectly happy doing oh, it. Oh, I'm, I'm happy as I can be living in my house truck. Uh -huh. I do have a place right now, but, uh, just, you know, people what is, feel, what is it that, what is it about the this? Community. The community. It's the people. It's the people. It's a beautiful town and all that. I mean, yeah, it's beautiful, but you see those everywhere. There's some, you know, Jerome, a little mining town. I mean, uh, you just go all over the United States. They're everywhere. Mm. It's the people. Uh -huh. And um, you don't find community like you find it here. No. You, you may find small pockets, you know, 20, 15, 20 people somewhere that find them a little, a couple little houses mm -hmm. somewhere, and they, they're a little community, and they're a good community. It's very supportive. And you're sitting in the chair that you made. Mm -hmm. You made these. These are called, what do you call them? Adirondacks. Uh huh. And I've been making Adirondacks. I grew up in a coal mining town. And if a car broke down or a refrigerator broke down, we would build Adirondacks and put them out in front of my grandma's house and sell them along the road. So I've been building these things since I was about 12. How long does it take you to make one of these? Um, about three or four hours. Is that right? Yeah. Uh -huh. How many have you made? <laughs> Hundreds? Thousands. 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 Mm -hmm. I, in Wichita, Kansas, I had a company. We were putting out probably uh, 1,200 chairs a month. Wow. Wow. We fitted, uh, thank TGIF, thank God it's Fridays, That when that chain first came out about 20 or 30 yeah, years the ago. Yeah. We uh, supplied them with all their Adirondacks uh -huh. nationwide.
So is Adirondacks is not a name you made up for it? Or no, it that's uh, the Adirondack Mountains uh, right? up in uh, New York, upstate New but York. But it's your name for the, this product line. Right. Yes. Yeah. And uh, what else do you make besides chairs like this? Jewelry. Jewelry. Yep, yeah, that's my passion. Uh -huh. Found art. Found objects. I don't buy anything. Bottle caps, broken jewelry. Find a lot of uh, uh, rosaries over in Old Bisbee. A lot of broken rosaries over in Old Bisbee. Are you a major recycler? Big time. Big time. Because <laughs> uh -huh. I, you know, we're uh, Bisbee does about forty percent volunteer mm -hmm. of its waste stream. Mm -hmm. But if we could get it to eighty, it would hire people, and we'd be famous for it. Yeah. And uh, so I'm working with some people to develop a campaign to make Bisbee great in that way. Uh, it would also, tipping fees are going off the roof. Yeah. And, uh, and, and it's really, we've gotten to the point where we understand you don't have to throw much of anything away. My last house truck that I drove last year, I don't think I had, I had about $200 that I spent on screws and adhesives. Everything else was found over an old Bisbee. Someone had put out an old trunk without a lid, so I just cut it and used it for siding. I had tables from a, uh, one of the gaming tables at the old stock exchange that Patricia had thrown out. Everything on it was not only found in Bisbee, mm -hmm. most of it was over 100 years old. Mm -hmm. Uh, the whole thing, I had less than $200 in that house. Do you know if you'll stay in Bisbee for the duration? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's why I plan on leaving my body. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know what they'll do with it, but <laughs> that's not my problem. I'm gone. You don't have any designs of what happens to you after nope. you're gone? None. Nope. If I had my choice, you could drag me up into the mountains or out in the desert and just, just let leave the you animals there. have me. Yeah, let the animals have yeah. you. Yeah. Why not, huh? Why not? We, when you think, when you look that's around, that's real recycling. Everything you see comes from the earth. Isn't that incredible? Yes. This, all these automobiles, that, everything comes from yes. somebody digging some yes. dirt out of the ground. So ashes to ashes. Yep. And that's how we'll all, that's all, uh -huh. know, that'll eventually be the ashes again. Yes. It'll take thousands of years. but For this phone. Yeah. Yes, this camera. Yeah. But, yeah. Everything comes from the earth. Well, you're an interesting cat. <laughs> yeah, you are. You know that, right? You know that you're not usual. Yeah, I, I got a story, but I won't. I won't. I don't want. Next to time, it. save yeah. something for yeah. next time. Yeah. Maybe someday we'll. Record Tell us it. about the uh, the ink on your face. Did you do it yourself? No. You had it done. Yeah, it was all done in ceremony. In ceremony. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And yeah. you're known as the the, the dot. Artist, the dot man, the uh, yeah, I do a lot of dot art. Uh -huh. yeah, Peter Young is the original dot artist in uh -huh. Bisbee. Uh -huh. Yeah, but well, I love dot art. Well, dots they speak to you. I think I'm gonna let you uh, sink your teeth taco. into that. Yep. Your taco. Yep. And I want to thank you for Absolutely. spending some time with me. Yep. And I hope we can spend more. I may recruit you to help me on that project at the traffic circle. I'm right there with you. I'm telling you, I really I'll promote the idea. I'll go to meetings with you. I really think that if we can, and I mean, I, I have friends who have shops in Old Bisbee, and they're closing their shops because they can't afford to rent, mm -hmm. and their rent's really reasonable. It's not that the rent's outrageous. I've heard that, yeah. It's just that we're not getting the money here that we need to support the little shops over there. And what would it take to make uh, Bisbee greater? Um, more businesses? Uh, more people spending money here? To make Bisbee greater? I don't know. Boy, that's a tough question. Because you love it so much, yeah, just the I way it is. Yeah, I don't think it could be any But we do need a few more is, people, don't we? Yeah, if we could get more like-minded people who, who, who don't want to come from California and and, and tear down six houses and put up a big mansion. You know, or buy the whole town and, and, and yeah. turn it into They need Aspen. to fit in. Yeah, we're not Aspen. And the little, the little sign down in Grassy Park that tells you about all the little districts and shit, that's all from Aspen and European. We'll never be Aspen. We don't want to be Aspen. I go to Aspen all the time, uh -huh. but, you know, we yeah. don't want to be Aspen. Wanna be... We want to be Bisbee. 
We want to be. Uh, I didn't choose Bisbee for no reason. Like I said, I've I've I've, 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 I've had people offer me small fortunes to bring to, your to, talent someplace to move else. Into their town. Uh-huh. I mean, that sounds vain, but. But uh, it's not vain if it's true. Carbondale, Colorado. They've offered me the world. They're, they're like 30 miles from Aspen. I don't know if you've wow. ever been up there. Uh-huh. About 30 miles from Aspen. So now all the multi-billionaires are in Aspen. And they run all the millionaires to Carbondale. A few uh-huh. billionaires uh-huh. in Carbondale. Uh-huh. But How did you tell them your answer? What did you say to them? Thank you, but... Thank you, but right now I'm happy. Way, you know, I'm, uh, I was up there last summer and a man offered like 17 acres with two big studios and a wood shop and a little log cabin. It was beautiful. I'm surprised we haven't but, talked more in the years that I've uh, been here. I remember you were at the Adel- uh, Adelante uh, Eco Music Festival and uh, I think mm-hmm. you won first first place for your, uh, your art yeah. uh, d- uh, display that yeah. you put up and yeah. uh, you're quite a guy. But... You've done a million things since then. I've gone, I've had three fortunes in my life. And I've seen what money can do. The more money you have, the more people you have trying to take your money from. You. Yeah. Your lawyers, your accounts, your advisors and all that. Yeah. It's like, well, just give the it away. The big sucking sound. Yeah, go, just give it away because they're, they're going to figure out a way to take it. <laughs> so, you know, look at Hillary. Yeah. Hillary's got all the money in the world. Yes. The best health care doctors in the world. And she's not uh, healthy. Yeah, and no, you can't. Probably not even horribly happy. No, she's not happy. She's not healthy. Yeah. And yeah. Well, the money in the world. You, you're you're happy and you're healthy, and it I'm comes happy out. I'm healthy. Well, enjoy yeah. your taco. Yeah. And thank so, you, Robert. See what happens? You sat down to interview me, and now I pulled you into yeah, the you traffic did. circle. Yeah, yeah, man. We're going to make that happen. I really, I've already got it in my head what I want to do. I'm ready. And uh, and I know others are ready too. People are going to want to interact with it yeah. and, and, and walk it. I love it. I love the so, danger part of it. Yeah, so. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to be aware. You just can't be stepping out yeah. in traffic. Yeah. yeah. So, Thank you. Do you, you have hug? any? Yes. I'm all the time. time. All the time. I'm good to hold it. Uh,